For this session, we are going to discuss random variables. What is a random variable? And when can we say that a random variable is continuous or discrete? These are the questions that we are going to answer in this episode. Let's first define a variable. A variable is a quantity that varies from subject to subject. A variable is a characteristic that changes or varies over time. Yung nagbabago-bago yung value niya over time. O kung hindi naman, nagbabago-bago siya for different individuals or subject under consideration. For example, the weight of a person, which varies from person to person. Ako, I'm 70 kilograms. Ikaw, probably you're 50 kilograms. So, yung weight ng tao, nag-iiba-iba siya from person to person. The Facebook messages that you receive per day. Today, pwede kang makatanggap ng 10 messages. Tomorrow, 15 messages. So, iba-iba yan per day. No? So, it changes or it varies day to day. The number of COVID-19 positive cases. Of course, iba-iba rin yan kada araw. Yesterday, we had 22,000 positive cases. Tomorrow, it could be higher than that or lower than that. So it changes, it varies from day to day. The gadgets used by students in a class and the number of shots made by basketball players in a conference. So these are some of the examples of a variable. What is a random variable? A random variable is a numeric variable from a random experiment that can take on different values. Pag sinabi nating experiment sa subject na statistics and probability, we mean that it is a statistical experiment or observation na kung saan kumukuha tayo ng measurement. Kaya naman, pwede nating isipin na ang random variable ay isang numerical outcome ng isang random experiment kung saan pwedeng mag-iba-iba yung values niya if you do the experiment multiple times. Now, random variables are usually denoted using capital letters such as X and Y. But sometimes, two or more variables are denoted using the same letter but different subscripts such as X sub 1 or X sub 2. Let's consider this example. If we roll a standard die and let's say we are concerned on what to appear on the top Face of the die, we say that a random variable x is the face up value of the die. So, ito yung random variable x natin. Kung ano yung lumabas sa top face ng die. Now, the question is what are the possible values of the random variable x? Of course, the possible values of x are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which are the number of dots of each face of a die. All right. Now let's consider another example. This time we're going to roll two dice. And we want to know the sum of the number of dots on the top faces of the two dice. So the random variable y is the sum of the number of dots on the top faces of each die. Let's say if dice show 3 and 5 on their top faces, then their sum is 8. That's one possible outcome. If one die shows 6 and the other one shows 3 on their top faces, then their sum is 9. We can actually perform the task repeatedly and find out the other possible outcomes. But since alam naman natin yung number of dots of a die, so the possible values of y are 2 kapag parehong 1, and then 3 kapag 1 and 2, or 2 and 1 and vice versa. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Kapag ka parehong 6, yung pinakita ng dalawang dice. Okay? So those are the possible values of y. Let's continue with the next example. The score a grade 11 student gets on her statistics test can take on values from 0 to 50. Let's say you randomly select a student and ask his score on his statistics test. What could be his possible response? 
definitely his response could be 0, 7, 9, 29, 35, 42, or any number between 0 to 50 because it's a 50 item test. Here, the random variable x is the test score of a randomly selected student. Therefore, the possible values of the variable x is 0 to 50. Now, there are two types of random variables. Random variables can be discrete or continuous. It is important to distinguish between discrete and continuous random variables because different techniques are used to describe their distributions. A discrete random variable can take on a countable number of values. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi nating discrete random variable, ito ay outcome na pwede mong mabilang gamit ang iyong mga daliri sa kamay. In short, in most cases, discrete random variable is a result of a count. The number of Facebook messages received per day is an example of a discrete random variable. You may receive 8 Facebook messages a day or 15 messages a day, but you can never receive 15.5 messages or 15.75 messages. It's not even possible. Wala tayong 0.5 or 0.75 na message. It could, it should be an integer, di ba? So, you can receive 8, 15, 6, 10 messages a day, but you can never have 15.5 or 15.75 messages. So, it's not even possible. Another example is the number of students in a statistics and probability class. It is an example of a discrete random variables. Values such as 15, 25, 50 are all possible. However, 25.5 students is not possible value for number of students. Wala naman tayong kalahating katawan na estudyante. It could be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth, but it can never be 1 half or 1 fourth. Some other examples of discrete random variable is, of course, the number of new COVID-19 positive cases per day. The number of customers served by a supermarket cashier per hour. The number of vehicles owned by a randomly selected household. For as long as the outcome of a random experiment can be counted uh, by using the fingers in your hands, that is a discrete random variable. Now, what makes continuous random variable different from discrete random variable? Continuous random variable can take on any of the countless number of values in a line interval. What do we mean by this? It means that in a continuous random variable, we can take all the possible values in a given range. Kung sa discrete random variable, we only consider integers such as 8, and 9, ngayon, sa continuous random variable, it can take any values between 8 and 9. So, pwede na si 8.92, 8.34, or 8.7451, and a lot more. That's actually infinite. No? Infinite yung values natin sa continuous random variable because we cannot determine or we cannot tell the exact number of values between 8 and 9. One perfect example of a continuous random variable is the weight of a person. Diba? A person can weigh 140 pounds or 180 pounds or any weight between those two, including 140.654 pounds. That's possible or even 179.6,577 pounds. That's also possible. Other examples of continuous random variable are air pressure in an automobile tire. Now, the air pressure could, theoretically, it can take any value from zero to the bursting pressure of the tire. Hanggang sa pumotok siya. Values such as 15.726 PSI or pound per square inch are very much possible. The altitude of a plane, the temperature of a cup of coffee served at a restaurant, it could be 
40 degrees Celsius, 40.3693 Celsius, that is also possible. And number four, the amount of gasoline pumped into a car's gas tank. It could be 2 liters, 3 liters, but 2.375 is also a possible amount of gasoline that can, be, that can be pumped into a car's gas tank. So these are examples of continuous random variable. I hope that's clear to you the distinction or the difference between the continuous random variable and the discrete random variable. Now let's try to answer the following questions to check your understanding about random variables. A study is done in which the data collected are the number of laptops a person has owned in his or her entire lifetime. Now here's the statement. Is it true or false? The data in the study are discrete random variable. The answer is true. The data are countable. You can count laptops. How many laptops do you have? You could have five laptops, seven laptops, but you can't have 3.72 laptops. That's not possible. All right, let's proceed with another question. Oh, Robert has owned five laptops. That's an example. Now, let's try to do this activity. Which of the following are discrete and which are continuous? The number of cookies in a jar. Countable or not? Yes, it can be counted. So therefore, it is a discrete random variable. The humidity in PASIG. Definitely, it is a continuous random variable. The number of people who watched the Tokyo Olympics 2020. That is discrete random variable. And letter D, the amount of water flowing through a dam per hour. That is also continuous. And for letter E, the length of time a battery lasts. Definitely, that is continuous. Right, so that ends our discussion for the topic random variables. Thank you very much for watching. See you on my next video. Salamat!